I'm Alex Corrales Isaac. I'm a teaching fellow in the department and I'm deputy director of MSc courses uh, and also one of the admissions tutors for MSc's. The Warwick MSc's are very competitive uh, programmes, uh, so we're looking for strongly qualified uh, students with a wide range of experience in economics and a great deal of enthusiasm for studying economics and for taking their uh, knowledge and skills on to a new technical level. We're looking for students with a very strong background in microeconomics, macroeconomics and econometrics. A lot of people apply who don't have that background. So if you've done a finance degree with one or two modules of economics, you're not necessarily placed to come directly onto an MSc Economics. So we are looking on your transcript for intermediate micro, intermediate macro and econometrics. So they will be second year uh, level modules and we are looking for uh, strong 2-1 equivalents in those modules on average. If you don't have that background with micro, macro and econometrics, you might be a better candidate for our diploma course, which is a one plus one diploma plus MSc course. Uh, and that's open to anyone with an undergraduate degree uh, and some mathematical uh, skills and ability that could be at school level. Uh, so you could come onto this course with a history degree or an arts degree, but you would also come onto this course if you had a pure maths degree or a physics degree or a finance degree and had limited experience of economics because we will need to assume a certain amount of knowledge uh, for direct entry onto the MSc economics. Beyond then your qualifications, we're looking also for your enthusiasm uh, and your interest in economics, how you're going to use an MSc, why an MSc is, is part of your career or your academic path. Um, we read about these things in your personal statements. The course at Warwick is very competitive, so a personal statement can be helpful. And the things you should consider in this, a statement of 500 to 1,000 words, uh, would include the relevance of your first degree and the academic skills you've got on your first degree to the study we will do on the MSc. The reason why you want to study an MSc, uh, its role in your uh, professional or intellectual development. Uh, the reasons why you would choose Warwick and why you would choose the particular MSc stream you are applying for are also important. You can think of the uh, personal statement as your chance to demonstrate why you would be an interesting student to teach. That's always what we're looking for at master's levels. We want people with enthusiasm who are studying the master's for uh, some good uh, intellectual professional reason who we're going to engage you know, very strongly with the material and who uh, we are going to be in the end interested in supervising uh, for a dissertation uh, and who we're going to have a good experience kind of interacting with. So the documents you require as part of your application package uh, include your university transcript, that's absolutely essential, we can't process the application without the transcript. We also require references with valid email contacts for the referees. We require a personal statement. Uh, students who are not educated in English or English is not their first language will require evidence of their English language uh, capability to study the course as well. And to apply for the MSc course, you would apply through the postgraduate online application system. So you create an account with that system, you apply to the university, and then the application comes to us in the department. So for any more information about the admissions process, visit the web pages for postgraduate admissions, or you can contact the postgraduate office as well.